Imagine this is your data. You have a column for year, a column for apples, and a column for oranges. This data set shows you two series of data, apples being one, oranges being the other, and the context of the data is the years. In order to plot this data in one chart and compare the two apples and oranges, you would select the data for each of those together, click on insert, select line for timeline. Here you see that a line has been plotted for apples and one has been plotted for oranges. However, your x-axis is not complete. You want to right click on the x-axis, click on select data, and where it says horizontal category axis labels, click edit. Now you have the opportunity to select all of the years for which you have data. Once you do so, you can click OK, and again click OK. As you can see, the x-axis is a little bit crowded, so you might want to open up your chart so that the numbers can be seen clearly. The chart, however, is incomplete. A good chart should always have a title and you should also show your source of data. In this case we want to go to layout, click on chart title and above chart. In our pretend data we will call this the average consumption of fruit per adult per year. Also we want to include the source of the data. Because the chart is taking up all the space to the border, you might want to resize the chart area until you can see this arrow and drag it up. This way you have some open space to include a footer for your data source. Here we would select insert text box and then drag our cursor over the area we want to put the footnote. I want to format it so the text size is the font size is a little bit smaller and call it data source Heidi's made up information. In reality, you would include the name of the institution, any sort of um, references specifically and also ensure when you obtain the data, so given a year for instance. Once you do this, your chart is pretty much complete. You can modify it by moving the legend to wherever you please, such as in the upper corner, inside the chart, and then resizing the chart. Um, you can resize the legend oftentimes so that it fits appropriately. And now you have a chart that's ready to be used in your analysis.